What up, people? It's your boy, Master Chudy, out here with another review. And here we got a review of Pantheon, episode four. Now, I mentioned in an earlier video how I believe that Pantheon was a great direction for animation to go to, what it needs to, what the genre should go through. And I'm continuing my praise on the show, more or less. Um, I decided to, I'm going to review episode um, these episodes when I can. Um, if you haven't seen episodes one to three, highly recommend you do. Uh, they're fantastic. They're great. But um, we'll focus on this episode uh, pretty much. Um, the episode really started off quite dark, and we've seen that this show can get very dark with um, with its imagery and with its themes and its characters. Um, we now kind of um, delving into a lot more with the conspiracy of. Um, where this um, show can go through pretty much its plot, which is progressing quite well. We saw messages of that in episode three, but in episode four, we see that um, that become more clear. Uh, the characters are definitely becoming, at least they're not having their own struggles. There are various different plot lines running through this show. Um, in this case, we have Maddie trying to pretty much continue to connect with her father, trying to keep him safe. She's now having worries that he could be captured by um, logistics, basically. Or, sorry, logarithms, not log logistics, logarithms that essentially, you know, digitized his brain, where he essentially became a mindless drone until he managed to somehow break the, the programming. And then we see that um, with other with other people who have been wronged by all other companies getting involved in what they say is uploaded intelligence UI, as they say, the new thing that will replace artificial intelligence. Because why create when you can already upload somebody's mind in without going through the process of creating a program? Which in Paris is very interesting and ethical problems. But we also see that our show's secondary protagonist in Caspian is having issues of his own. Um, we see that, you know, family life is breaking down, but he's found a girl and whatnot. And I will say that um, you start feeling for Caspian quite a lot to the point where almost you want to see his story more so than Maddie's because his story involves a greater conspiracy. But, um, and I will say that the ending of this episode generally continues to um, <laughs> continue, continues to surprise, and it definitely surprised in this case, you know. But the main things I'm going to get into is to the good things about this episode, and I have no negatives about it, but uh, for starters, uh, the plot. The plot was fantastic, but it raises questions about, you know, the ethics of uploaded intelligence, basically uploading somebody's brain into into a um, into software into the computer world having them to do work you know and all that type of stuff but in addition to that you know having their loved ones you know face a reality that is not really true that they are no longer or can no longer be the same person um, they once were in the physical living world whether it's right to do that to people whether you, it's um, correct to ensure that um, they continue to live on for other purposes. Sometimes, as they say, it's best to leave the dead dead. And we can see that it, that people in the show argue, at least some people in the show argue, that, you know, uploaded intelligence, you're still human. But that's not really the fact. And, you know, with um, various people, with um, Maddie's mom, who mentioned in the episode, don't you miss touching you know the feel of touch what makes us human because we're very sensory we're very sensory species as they will say many things affect us on so many different levels that we need the visual medium we need the physical medium to really be human and when you start uploading binds into the <laughs> virtual world with no chance to return to the physical, that they all they know is digital, that it also creates problems. And we can see as well, you become code. 
And with code, anything can happen. You can be hacked. You can have, you know, you can decay. You can be corrupted. And that also brings the thing that if all these things that never really happened to human beings can now happen to people who have been uploaded in, say, a cloud, they can be easily hurt more. They can be easily manipulated more. They can be easily um, feel less human, as they're no longer human than we think. So there are various, various ethical questions that are brought up. Really, the show really, ch- really tries to create a debate of, you know, what makes one human. You know, as for me, I'm already on the side where I don't think uploaded intelligence is good, but that doesn't mean I don't like to hear the argument. And I do, and one could understand at least the people making this argument. However, um, we see definitely, as shown in the beginning, the downsides of living in such a um, smart technology driven world where we have um, issues basically and you know where ui people who are ui who have become ui are no longer are no longer bound by you know certain moral compasses well that's either here nor there um the animation once again top notch i can't complain this is some of the best animation um, AMC Plus is trying its hand with animation, it seems, with Pantheon. This is the first animated show I've seen from AMC Plus that's not necessarily connected to Walking Dead if they have one. But I like what they're doing. It's great work and it's keeping me interested. And I would highly recommend that people watch this show to give them the support to show that they're doing a good job as well. But that's pretty much it for me. This is a short review. So tell me what you think. What do you think of Pantheon as a show? What do you think of the episode specifically? Do you have, do you disagree with my take about uh, uploaded intelligence? But uh, thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notifications. Uh, and make sure you're notified. Because I do these videos for you, the people, because I wanted to get good, I want to get good content out of you. I want to get your opinion on them, and I want to have a conversation. Please also don't forget to comment down below. I'd like to get your views as well. So, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I hope to have another video up very soon. Peace.